Hello, thank you guys and welcome to a new video and in this new video we are going to go over the EIRP stop routing and before I start on that I want to thank um, everybody that had followed me over the past um, six months or so and I have reached 500 followers over 500 followers as you can see 501 followers and if you don't follow me yet and you have a Twitter account, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Take Late Tips. Here's where I post all my videos and all the good stuff. All right, well, thank you. Let us, let's go ahead and start with the stop routing. Um, and what, it, what is stop, stop routing? Well, a stop is a router that will not receive query update. And what is a query update? Um, a query update is actually a packet that is sent when we have ERGRP and a query is actually when you are asking for information. So let's say that um, we got router one and let's say that the loop pack address is being advertised by router one. Um, and since it is advertised by router one, router two and router three are going to have it if they're using ERGRP. So if the loop pack goes down on router N, router 2 cannot reach it anymore, router 2 is going to send a query um, update asking about the loopback and where the loopback is. Okay, so that, that that's what query does, is just ask for information. Okay, and like I said, a stop will not receive those query updates. Okay, because they cannot be used as a backup or because they do not go anywhere. Um, a stop, um, most of the time, whenever you're going to configure a stub, it's going to be because there's nothing else after this router, right? So you don't want to use this router as a backup because there's, it doesn't go anywhere. It's like a dead router. It's not connected to anything else, right? So that's how you can decide whenever you want to create or assign a stub router when it doesn't go anywhere. And it is a good technique to cut um, I mean, a stop, a stop router is a good a good technique because it cuts um, query traffic. And also, we have different um, stop routers that we can assign. And I'm going to show you guys. I have a really good, I found a really good website um, that can explain it a little, a little bit better. Stop routing. As you can see right here, um, so this is a network actually working when we have not assigned stop routers. As you can see, it sends query updates everywhere. But then after we configure um, query, after we configure the stop routers, you can see that we can only that the traffic, the query updates are only going to be sent between these two routers because these two are at now stop routers and are not going to receive any query updates and that's that reduces the traffic a lot right and there's a couple different of stop routers um, there is you can assign it to receive only and this means that the sub router will not advertise any network at all okay connected allows the, the stop router to advertise directly connected networks only um, static it only allows two only allows the sub router to advertise static routers. All right, and summary allows the router allows allows the stub router to advertise summary routes, and redistribute allows the sub router to only advertise redistributed routes. And by default, when you only do the ERGRP stub um, command, the default for it is going to be connected plus summary. Okay, so you can mix and match and do with different options with the exception of receive only because receive only actually turns everything off. So it denies all the advertisements. So whenever you um, do the command to receive only, you cannot um, mix it with anything else because that's going to deny all the traffic. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to my network that I have right here. Uh, the only thing that I have done is I have configured all the IP addresses. I have not configured EIGRP yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Router EIGRP. Let's do AS10 or Autonomous System 10. 
and it's at the network that I have 10.10.10 10 .10 .10 2 that too we can add it like this and then let's also add network one that one that one that one which is a loopback address that we're going to be working with we can go exit let's go to router two your ERP it needs to be 10 it needs to match the same we can use uno auto summary I don't think it really matters but I always do it anyways 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 we can just do three and that's the only network and as you can see we have formed a neighbor relationship great now let's go to router uh let's go to router one let's add network yeah we gotta go router your your b 10 network 20.20.20.0 now let's go ahead to router three so we can form a neighbor relationship um router your your p 10 network 10.20.20.0 3 we should be able to form a neighbor relationship now there it is so if you do show IP IGRP neighbor we have one neighbor which is router 1 that 20 that 20 that 20 that 2 we should be able to ping it as well 20 that 20 that 20 that 2 there it is so that's great okay so what I what I want to do is now I want to make router 1 the stop router and the way to do that is you have to go to router ERGRP 10 and from here you have to go ERGRP stop there we go and as you can see the information has changed as you can see right here um, information change new and then we form a new relationship which is the same one 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 21 and 10 10 10 1 okay so we still do have to show IP yeah, GRP neighbors we should still see the two neighbors over here we just stop receiving um, we start receiving queries and one way to do to verify that that's actually the case we can do a debug um, ERGRP and then packets and let's just do query and now you can see that this is on we can also do it from router 2 and um, debug ERGRP packets query right and if we go ahead to router 2 do config t let's go to interface look back look back mm, zero and let's just shut it down as you can see that from router 1 we can see that the query is in queue and a query in queue and a query okay and if we go to router 2, um, receive the query over here. Now let's go ahead. If we do a no shutdown, let's see what happens when we do a no shutdown. You can see that there is no queries. And why is that? That is because since router 1 is a stop router, it stopped receiving queries we don't send queries anymore right and one way to see what happens when it's not a stop router you can just do router ERGRP 10 and as you know ERGRP stub and then let's go to config t and from here what we could do is go to interface look back zero let's shut it down you can see that we get a bunch of queries and if we do no shutdown we still don't get don't get any queries but this one is getting queries over here because it's asking for a 
let's see. Let me see something to do it. Show IP route ledger P. We have two routes. One to the one network, which is the Ampoot back, and the other one to the twenty network. Let's see if we go to router ledger P ten and let's configure um, yeah, your P stub, but I want to do actually the receive only. Can we do any of those? Let me see. Yeah, let's just do receive only. As you can see, it changed. And remember the receive only, what's going to happen is that we are only going to receive, only, only going, we are only, only going to receive um, <clears throat> queries, but we're not going to send them. So let's see what happens when we go to interface, look back, zero. Now let's just shut it down. <clears throat> so I just shut it down. How about a two? Let's do show IP ERP. Or let's use show IP route ERP. We do not have any routes. And that's because router one is not sending the query to router two. So it's not telling router two about the twinning network or the one network because I have set the stop router, router one, to listen only, okay? And we can change that. Let's do, did I do, let's do no shutdown. On the loopback address, let's see if it comes back over here. It's still not shown in the interfaces. So now what we could do is, let's go to router here, yeah, GRP 10 and the stub, um, yeah, GRP stub. Let's change it to connected plus static. And now, when you change it to connected, what's going to happen that our router one is going to advertise to directly connected network networks. So it's actually going to advertise the 20 networks and the, I believe the loopback address, which is an actual directly connected network, I believe. So let's see what happens. Um, so now router two should have something in there. There you go. As you can see, since the stop router um, is now only advertising connected networks and static networks, router two is able to see um, the two networks, which is the loopback address, and also the 20 the 20 network, which is the one connected to router three. All right, so let's do one more. And the one that we want to do, or that I want to do, is just do summary, and let's just do static. Okay, everything is going up, and as you can see, we can do summary. Um, it advertised summary routes, okay, and it, and I also did static, which is a lot, which allows the stop to advertise static routes. All right, there you go. Since it is a summary route, it is advertising it, and router two is getting it. Um, let's see what happens when you configure a redistribute, a redistributor stub let's put it as redistributed um, let's see if we are gonna get any there we go so we do not get any because redistributed means that um, whenever let's say that our three or this link was running rip or OSPF let's say OSPF and this one is going to run your ERP on this side so the way you can send on ERP to OSPF is 
uh, if you redistribute um, between the two routing protocols. So you have to redistribute the um, redistribute the networks. So OSPF and EIRP can communicate with each other, and that is a redistributed um, stub. So it was going to add the network if it was re redistributed. Okay, but since none of them is redistributed, um, it's not showing anything over here. So now let's go ahead and change that back to ERGRP um, stub to connected. And what's that, what that is going to do is that it's going to add or it's going to query, right? It's going to query or send updates only for the networks that are directly connected. So if you go ahead to router 2, we should have the two networks again. There we go. All right. So this is it for this video. A little bit confusing at first, but I hope that you guys understand what I was trying to get across. Um, if you guys have any comments or any questions, just go ahead and leave questions on the video below or just follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.